what's going on beautiful people Ed Governor right here and you are definitely welcome back to the channel in this video I'm going to share with you guys how I got some of the shots for my most recent spec ad but before we get into that I just want to say that this is not a sponsored video and I have absolutely no affiliation with the product or the brand in this video so now that we got that out of the way let's get going and let's break down the first shot all right, so for this shot, I would like to think of this shot as the hero shot, okay? So my thought process behind this shot was to try and get as much of a dynamic movement as I possibly could with the things that I had. And I was using a lazy Susan. So basically what I did is I took the can, placed it right at the edge of the lazy Susan on top of the battery, which I would say you shouldn't do this at home, quite dangerous. But um, I put that there and I just sort of spun the can uh, sorry, spawned the lazy Susan several times. It took me a couple of tries because I was trying to have that can stop dead right at the center of the camera. So it took me a couple of tries, but eventually I was able to get it right and it looked good if you ask me. And for the lemons that you see, basically what I did was I cut the lemons into quadrants and I stuck them to um, a grill stick and I just spun them in front of a camera with a black background. Later on, I masked out the sticks and, you know, I put these two shots together and this is what we had at the end. All right, for this next series of shots, I would say they were pretty much the same except for a few things. Um, I had the can right at the center of the Lazy Suzanne. The lighting setup was pretty much the same as well, except for the very first shot, which was, which was the opening shot. And for me, that shot was all about revealing the product. When the video starts, you could clearly see that, you know, um, it's all dark and the can sort of spins into to light, sort of. And you can clearly see what's written on the can, non-alcoholic, and it also tells you what kind of flavor is, lemon. So for me, that was like a really nice way to sort of introduce the product and, you know, get you guys to dive into it. For the other shots, um, I just basically used the key light, which was overhead and a little bit of feel. And I also use um, these tube lights from uh, Luminate. These lights really helped me to sort of separate the can from the background you know so it gives it that nice rim light and it just looks quite pleased and this is what those shots look like so for this third series of shots i was thinking i wanted to do something a little bit more different something that could sort of up the production value even though this is like a zero budget thing Yes, we're gonna be using a fish tank to create some nice shots and just to make things a little bit more juicy. So let's get started and see what we can get going. I did quite a lot of different shots with the can when it was oh, with the fish tank. When it was filled with water, first off I dropped the lemon, then I dropped the can just by itself. Then I sliced up the lemons and dropped the sliced lemons. And then I emptied the can, hooked it up to a fishing line uh, right above the tank and um, submerged it. And then I dropped the lemons as well. So just a whole lot of different stuff. Unfortunately, some of the takes that I had, all the different shots that I had didn't make the cut. One little tip that I want to share with you guys when you're shooting anything, you know, in a tank or in a place where you were going to have some reflections. All right, so tip number one, if you're shooting anything of this nature with a lot of glass and reflections, make sure you put on black colors like this, black and dark colors, so you don't catch any of those reflections while shooting. Because if you wear bright colors like white, pink, you know, sky blue or stuff like that, then you're going to end up seeing a lot of those reflections coming from the front of the glass on your camera. So keep that in mind and uh, I think the last part that I'm gonna share with you guys is how I got the bubble shots unfortunately it was quite difficult for me to sort of film the behind the scenes as well as filming the actual actual video itself because you know my mindset was so focused on getting the proper shots that sometimes I just forgot to you know hit the record button on the behind the scenes camera 
but anyways for those shots i used uh, a diopter which helped me get um a closer focus into those bubbles and you know i just poured a drink into a glass and let us do let it do its thing you know when you're pouring it in you see the bubbles coming up and down and i just recorded it that said i think um those are the shots that I, i'm gonna break down for the other ones they were pretty basic stuff if anything else but those are the main shots that i wanted to break down and just share with you guys so let me know your thoughts uh, about these shot little ad that i did if it's something that you would like to see more of if you you know like this video or this kind of content make sure you go ahead give it a thumbs up if your face is a new one here you know what to do left hook assault that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one i'm out